started. Um, I'm so excited. We are starting week two of the switch up. Um, shout out to you for being here. Um, yes. Oh, yes. Working at your desk. Yes. So if you have not watched switch up one, go back and watch it. So today, guys, I'm like, so this, this series is about relaunching your business and actually make being effective in 2022. Like, we don't want to be on a, a rap wheel. Have, have you guys ever heard the, the, the song Cycles by John Jonathan McReynolds? If you've never heard it, I highly suggest taking some time to listen to it. I remember the first time I heard that song, um, somebody can actually drop it in the comments. I, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. The devil is learning from my mistakes, but I'm not. Like, it's crazy. He's getting more effective, but I'm just sitting here living life by chance instead of living life on purpose. So I don't desire to be in cycles. I don't desire for you to be in cycles. I want you guys to come here in January of 2023, and I want you to be um, debt-free. I want you to be, yes, some of y'all ain't got that much debt, but I want you to be in a position to where you, your life has changed because of this business. We're, we're running a marathon, not a sprint. Now you can, and I'm gonna tell you, you can sprint if you want to, you gonna run out of breath. So we wanna have a marathon and I'm telling you that I've been here nine years and I've sprinted before. And I'm talking about I ran out of breath to the point where I got into a car accident. I told you that last week. So you don't wanna be in that position. We are not chasing, ooh, that's the question. What are you chasing? When people say I'm chasing financial freedom, what does that even mean? And you know what? Don't be so quick to re reply. Sometimes we need to ponder on things. There, If you have never done this, I know I've done this a lot with a lot of my leaders, a lot of people that I've had one-to-one -one mentorship with, take a week, seven full days, every single morning in your journal time and your alone time, if you're not having alone time, you, just, you need to remove something so that you can have alone time somewhere throughout the day. But take seven days and journal, what do I want and why? Seven days. Rachel, the same thing every day? Every day. What do I want and why? What do I want and why? Y'all would be surprised how it will change. The first day you'll be like, I want this, that, this, that, this, that. And then the next day you'll be like, um, do I really want that? Like, is that really that important? By the time you get to day five, you'll be like, man, that ain't even important. Like, I really just want this. So it'll just bring clarity to what it is that you truly desire. Because I think a lot of people come to this business and have no idea what you even want. How many of you guys, drop a one in the comments if you join this business for extra income. Drop a one in the comments. Take the walk with me today, guys. Hang with me. Hang with me. If you joined it, I did. I joined this business for extra income. What in the world does extra income mean to you? What does that even mean? Drop it in the comments. For me, extra income was an extra $500 a month. Now, I want to tell y'all that that wasn't even extra income. Does anybody get what I mean? An extra $500 for me was not extra income. The, no, okay, let me swing. I needed, so I had never did this. So I talked about this last week. If you haven't done it, you still need to go do it. Write out all your bills, seriously. Write down every single bill that comes through your account every single month or that's supposed to come through your account every single month. And I want you to figure out how much money you really need every single month. How much do you get paid for, for, from your job? Or how much do you spend on, on gas typically? Some people have no idea how much money they even spend on gas every single month, right? So when I was saying I need an extra $500 a month, I really didn't need an extra $500 a month. I needed more than that. I needed more. But I was like, well, you know, I'd just be able to just breathe a little bit if I just get an extra $500 a month. So what do you really need? And then what do you need to say no to in this season? Because today, y'all, we're getting free, okay? I want to talk about getting free, getting free, getting free. But what, do you, what, what does freedom even mean for you? having enough money at the end, of, having extra money at the end of the month. Well, how much money are you actually spending? 
Or do you want to just be able to spend money whenever you want to spend money and be irresponsible with your money and just buy everything that you see? Is that what you desire? Or do you desire to truly get out of debt? And you know, I was, um, Kizzy, I had posted something on my um, my stories and Miss Kizzy sent me a message. She was like, you know, honestly, you know, I forgot. You don't have extra income if, you, if you're in debt. Drop a two in the comments if you owe anybody money. <laughs> me? Oh, I wish I could do this business all over again, but we know God had a plan for my life. I would be debt free. But see, the thing is, I don't want that for you. I don't want you to be in a position where I am where you made a million dollars and you still have debt. That don't make sense. But I want you to get free now so that you can get into the habit to where you can truly be free when the money starts to roll in. Because what happened for me? I made extra money. What did I do? I took my son to McDonald's. I went and bought some new shoes. <laughs> I booked the trip. I upgraded the trip. Can I just be honest? I bought the bar. Like I did all the things that I shouldn't have been doing with my money. And so what does it mean to truly be free for you? How much money do you really need? How many of you guys really know? And if you don't, write it down. So right now, I'm, I'm gonna give everybody like 10 seconds. Just start jotting down all your bills. Honestly, and I and I can attest to this, so some people may know, but I know all y'all don't know. Some of us don't even know what our monthly bills even are. We know roundabout. My water bill about, I pay charter about this much. <laughs> you estimating everything. You have no idea. My, my phone bill about $204, you know what I'm saying? You don't know right, the exact amounts that you're paying. So get some clarity. And I know some of y'all like, I ain't signed up for this. This ain't why I came. Tell me how to make the money. I uh, Listen, how to make the money is easy. That's the easy part. I felt somebody in my spirit when I said that. And it was like, it ain't easy. Yeah, it is. You can't talk to 10 people. You, can, you cannot, you cannot talk to 10 people and think you're going to be rich. GoPro is a book you have to read. You need to read GoPro. Somebody's going to drop the link in the comments to GoPro. It's free on YouTube. You can listen to it. You need to understand the profession that you signed up for. GoPro will help you understand that you can't just get lucky and send 10 messages and you're going to be rich. That's not how this works. That's not how this works. And so you have to be willing to go through the process. I was telling Brianna before this call, I said, you know, I truly believe that everybody on my team could be rich. I believe it. I truly do. I mean, within two years of me being in this business, I was making more money than I could ever fathom. Two years. Within two years, y'all, two years of being in this business, one year full time, I was making more money than I knew what to do with. Two years. But do I, can I explain to you how many disappointments and discouraging moments I had in the two years? If how you make it through discouraging moments, it depends on whether you'll make it. So one of the first things that I ever accomplished, so maybe somebody, you can share yours in the comments. The first thing you had to overcome in this business in order to make it to the next step. For me, it was calling my grandma. Y'all, my grandma do everything for me, okay? Everything. P.O.P. hold it down. And I called her and I was like, grandma, like I just started a new business. Like you gonna try these products? What's up? Let me, what's your card number? What you gonna get? <laughs> and my girl was like, I'm not signing up for that. And I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I knew that was one of my four. Like what you say? I'm baking on grandma. Like grandma signed up. I was like, shut up. You signed up for everything. You signed up for all that stuff. You said it's signed up for mine. <laughs> so I was in my feelings, like I was in my feelings. <laughs> and I could have easily been like, man, this ain't for me. My grandma won't even sign up. She signed up for all my stuff. So what was your moment? What was your first moment? But I decided, all right, grandma, cool. I'm still, look, I'm doing this for me and Trey. I got a why. My why is important. 
And it's okay if you don't understand the value of my products just yet because you don't know about them. That's it. She's just ignorant. She just, she's not, she's ignorant to my product, right? So that's fine. Oh, and she probably want to see if I'm being real. Like if I'm going to actually really do it before she signed up for a subscription. You know what I'm saying? She signed up for three months and I don't quit a month too, you know? So like maybe she wants to see. So I'm like, all right, cool. My grandma signed up y'all, but I think the next month and my grandma, nine years later is still ordering. My grandma has been on auto ship for eight years because of my longevity. She saw I was serious and so she became serious. But what did I do? I pivoted and I started to post online. I post online, I started to get my product out, sell my samples and I was like, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Why? Because I have a why. This is why we talk to y'all so much about why. Your why is so important. It is so important. And how you respond to your no is gonna dictate whether you can get, whether you can sit in this seat. How you respond to no is gonna dictate whether you sit in this seat. And I ain't gonna lie, it can hurt when a stranger don't understand. It be like, how you don't get this? But that ain't for me to figure out. It's for me to keep going to the people that God it wants to put in my, in my way in order to get to where, it, to my expected end. Right? I always tell people all the time, what are some things that God has placed on your heart when it comes to this business? Some of y'all might be too afraid to say it. But some of y'all, I know for me personally, when I first started, God told me I'd be a millionaire. And I was like, where? <laughs> what? <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. But that's where I was at. I was like, how? Like, I'm a Ruby. What are you talking about, millionaire? How does that work? But I had to trust God when I didn't have anybody on my team. I had to trust God. Look, this ain't even in my notes. I had to trust God when there was nobody showing up, when it was just me, or it was just me and my spouse. He was my boyfriend at conference with one friend. I had to trust God and keep showing up and be excited and still believe that God was going to make me a millionaire. And as the manifestation began to play, take place in my heart, you know, everybody be like, I'm manifesting. Okay, what I'm gonna need you to do is manifest it in your heart and actually believe it. Because when you start to believe it, guess what? You start to walk it like you talk it. I'm for real. You will start to walk it like you talk it. And so here I am, this ruby, y'all. I am a ruby, not even being paid as a ruby, telling people how I'm going double diamond and I'm quitting my job. Ruby, what? What are you talking about? You barely made five hundred dollars a month. You talking about you gonna make it six, seven thousand dollars a month? That's a insert income disclosure statement. I need to do it at the end. Lord help. So what is it that you're walking in, or you just trying to see some? Can you walk it out? How much extra income are you going to make? comments how much extra income are you going to make that's an extra income not income that you actually need because there's actually need like people have deficits <laughs> right who 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 on here I, we can drop a one drop a one in the comments if you need like income like you need to fill the gaps in your life like you need to fill the gaps that was me. I needed to fill the gaps. And I think with the mentality of extra income, I thought I had some extra money. <laughs> Girl, I just got paid for midworks. We going out to eat. <laughs> no, pay your tires and have a seat and put that towards the bill. Because it's not extra income. It's income that you actually need because your job is not paying you enough because you desire to be at home full time with your kids because you want to be a full-time entrepreneur because what where is the extra so okay anyways I don't know what that was for today but we're going to move on past that and let's talk about getting free so there's some simple practical things that I want y'all to do for the next week y'all simple and practical simple and practical and I promise you as much as you be like well how is it what the, how does this relate to business I'm telling you and maybe somebody one of the leaders because I know we got a few leaders on here can actually share in the comments how this freed up their life 
It really will. I remember the first time somebody told me to clean my desk and how cleaning my desk would clean up my mind and allow me to be in a, a great mental space in order to, to actually think better. And I was like, how did that work? But I did it. And y'all, I could think better. And I was like, okay, I feel, I feel lighter. Like I feel less cluttered. Why? Because it's practical. A lot of the stuff that you're dealing with mentally is actually practical. So for example, what are some things, who actually does, ooh, how do I wanna ask this? Who has things around their house that you need to get rid of? Drop me in the comments. I mean, from clothes to furniture items to papers. Yeah, I had papers from middle school. Like why? You, you're X amount of years old. I'm out here sending Brittany pictures and letters from middle school. Why? Like what, what is going on? Are you okay? Like why? I needed to get, like, and, and the crazy part about it is, and I just, I, you know, I empathize with anybody who's dealing with any type of loss in this season. But the crazy part about it is, you know, we have conversations with my grandma all the time baby, ain't nobody going through all of that when you pass away. Can you please go through and throw that stuff away? If it's not important to you, like let's throw it away. So why are we holding on to stuff that, that serves us no purpose anymore? And we are talking about this on a deeper level than some papers. So what in your house do you need to get rid of? And a lot of times we make excuses for why we're not getting rid of stuff. Either drop a reason in the comments. How about that? I'm not even gonna tell y'all. What's the reason why you're not letting some go? If we can just be honest. I know one leader said it today. She said, well, I think one day I'm gonna do it. And she said, well, I realize in this lifetime, it may be another 10 years before I start doing it. I'm gonna use it one day. It's comfort. Yes. Memories, yeah, memories that need to be let go of, to be honest. Because a lot of times our, we, so, we so clogged up on what happened yesterday, we can't make new memories for today. We can't even walk in the newness. And I'm gonna tell you this, when it comes to comfort zones, um, oh, not yet, I gotta take my baby girl. When it comes to comfort, comfort we know nothing, nothing good comes from our comfort. How can you get uncomfortable physically, mentally, spiritually, so that you can put yourself in a position where you can grow? You will not grow in this business if you're comfortable, period. I'm telling you, hands down, you will not grow in this business. You may make a few coins, but you're not gonna make the money that you wanna make. Every level brings a new devil. And I and that, that sounds so cliche, but sometimes, we saying they bring a new devil, but the real person, the real enemy that we fighting is ourselves. We're the ones who won't let go. We're the ones who, who, who on here turned off a subscription last week? How many subscriptions do you need to let go of? A subscription may be holding you hostage. You think you don't have time to work your business, because you watch Netflix at night. You play games at night. Insert whatever it is that you do. All of them, okay? Come on, fair. That's what I'm talking about. Free it up. People say, I don't have $20 to run a website. What are you spending $20 on that needs to go towards your website? Do y'all get what I'm saying? Hold on one second, pause. Okay, let's pray my gifts x-ray during the call what is it what is it that you need to let go of even when it comes to the auto shipment y'all this is an investment it is an investment and so you have to get comfortable uncomfortable so even when it comes to talking to a distributor right so you are talking to a potential distributor right and i was even telling the leadership about this today your discomfort does not allow you to hold back from blessing someone else. Oh. Bless you. Oh. So just because, you know, I had heard a story, I'm gonna tell you guys, I had a story about a girl who was a top wine seller. 
Y'all, she was a top wine seller, not like not network marketing wine, but like in an actual like as a server. She was a top wine seller. I mean, top wine seller. Y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all, this girl was not 21 and she was pregnant. Y'all hear that? Top wine seller, not 21, meaning she's never tasted it. And she's pregnant. So she couldn't even chase it if she wanted to take it. I mean, you know, take it. Right? Now, drop in the comments, how in the world would she be top wine seller? How would she be a top? How in the world could a pregnant, underage girl be a top wine seller? Riddle me that. How does that work? Confidence. She put in the work, for sure. Drive. Y'all, this girl, she would use, so she, she, all she needed was one yes. One yes. One yes. And once she got that one yes, she asked a million questions. She said, what do you like about the taste? What do you like about the smell? What food did you pair it with? One yes. And you know what that one yes did? It boosted her confidence. She, and, and then she had a reservoir of things that she could use to tell the next person it pairs well with this. It tastes like this. Never tasted in her in her day. My customers rant, rant and rave about this. Get her to her next yes. Ask questions. All right, what do you love about it? All she knew is that I want to be the top seller. I have a baby coming, and I'm underage. I need to I need to be a top seller so that I am able to take care of my daughter or my son or whatever she had. And so I'm gonna milk the wheels off. I gotta be on my feet every single day. I'm gonna be the best at this. And so the question is, what are you doing to be the best at your business? What are you doing? And what are you willing to let go of in order to be the best at what you're doing? How are you being solution focused? I don't drink coffee. Y'all, there is a top income earner and it works that has that is actually allergic to coffee. Allergic. But she loves this company and she loves other products. And y'all, she sells coffee every day in her stores. She slangs it. You wouldn't know that she don't drink it. Yeah, if I told her your name, you'd be like, those y'all who been here, you'd be like, really? Because when I heard that, I was like, you lying. You drink coffee. I would never know. Why does it matter? So the question here is how are you going to move forward and get into your win? How are you going to move forward to get to your win? How do you go from yes to yes? And I'm gonna be honest, y'all, a lot of times we, we worry more about what people have than what they really have. We worry more. Oh, that's too much for her to spend. Girl, you can spend $500 for all I care because I know that th these, these products get you results. So people ask for, for Rachel's regimen. Rachel, Rachel's regimen is not $100. It's not. My house, we spend about $1,000 a month on health and wellness. But we don't, we don't, we're not on a ton of medications. We don't have hospital visits no more like that. Okay, praise the Lord. My son used to have a bout in the hospital every year with asthma. We would have to spend two or three days in the hospital. And this business shifted. I have clean products in my house now. I have, there's so many things that I never paid attention to before it works but I was willing to invest it. I was willing to invest it. And so what habit do you need to change? Or break or free? <laughs> free yourself from. And I know a lot of times, you know, the, the biggest thing when it comes to habit, y'all, is it's not about, um, it's not about um, removing, it's about adding. Have you ever heard that before? What can you add to your life that's of value instead of worrying about removing? 
So for example, last week we talked about an alarm clock and I saw Tamika, she bought her alarm clock, right? <laughs> so buy a, a, a sunset alarm clock and actually use it. Remove your phone from your bedroom and use the, the alarm clock, the new thing that you've added into your life. <laughs> your calendar, something that you're adding, adding in a new resource into your life. It could be something as simple as a, from the Dollar Tree, a notebook that you write all your leads down on, that you take everywhere with you. It could be one of them small ones, you know what I'm saying? Like real small pocket size ones. What are you adding to your life? What habits? And then yeah, I, think, I think I gave y'all these books last, last week, Atomic Habits, maybe, no? Yep. Atomic, I'm going to say it again for the new people who might be on here. Atomic Habits is a book that you can read or listen to. Um, drop in the comments, y'all. Uh, high Performance Habits. Um, there's another one, too. There comes a point where you want to get serious about changing your life. And what's so crazy is we was listening to Eric Thomas before this. And it's, it's just like, when do you continue? Why do you continue to allow yourself to have childish tendencies? I don't know. Drop, drop a, uh, drop a me in the comments if you you're thirty plus. <laughs> drop a, drop a me in the comments because this is an honest thing. You get into a place where you're trying to decide what's childish and what's not childish anymore. Like what I need to let go of. You know what I'm saying? Like where where does where is my line of maturity? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because a lot of stuff that you used to do, you shouldn't be doing no more. And just because certain people are stuck in that place does not give you permission to be stuck. Because a lot of the complaints that they have is because they're allowing themselves to stay there. And you've decided to do something different with your life. You've decided to be financially um, smart. If you've never read a book about finances, extra income ain't gonna take you nowhere. Oh, I wish somebody would have told me that when I first started this business. So if you under 30, get you a financial book. Ask your enroller, which person, like what book should I read so I can grow in, in my um, understanding of my finances? Because if you don't understand your finances, you'll make a lot of money and wonder where it is. Y'all, I have helped people make a lot of money, a lot of money, but it's not about how much money you can make. It's really not. Can you actually pay the debt off? How many of you guys are waiting for a lump sum to pay off debt? Yeah, just in all honesty. How, how many of you guys are waiting? Ooh, send that one to me, Kizzy. Yeah, no. How many of you guys are waiting for, for a lot of extra money to save? No, no, save a dollar. Do y'all know saving a dollar a day and put 365 in your uh, savings account? That's that's more than most people have in their savings account right now. A dollar a day. Five dollars per paycheck. And so I don't, why do I, I just keep being deterred today? So somebody, again. So the whole point of this week, y'all, is to get free because the more free you are, the more space you have to actually build a business, period. The more free you are, the more space you have to build a business. You can have it all, but it, it, the capacity of what you can have it is it, it varies from person to person. So yeah, you can buy the car and be debt free. Yes, you can. But what does that look like for you? You have to be disciplined in some space. I don't know about y'all, but some of y'all need to just ask somebody for their Netflix login instead of paying for it so that you can run your website. And that's on Mary had a little lamb. I'm for real. Somebody got Disney Plus. You can log into their Disney Plus. Somebody got Amazon Prime. So instead of feeling like you got to pay for these things, you need to get on somebody else's. Because best believe, I don't pay for all these subscriptions when my kids got them. Won't he do it? 
Okay. Because at the end of the day, like I said, we, we are working towards. So right now, guys, before we hop off of here, this is what I want y'all to do when y'all get off of here. Before, before the messages, before the host the post, before social media, listen, and I hopefully some of y'all phones on do not disturb while y'all on here. And if not, take that from me today. When you hop on meetings, put your phone on do not disturb. Because a lot of times we're one place, but we're 50 million places at the same time. Y'all, if you're like, Rachel, you're so busy. I am busy. And my phone is still on do not disturb. It's still on do not disturb. And my moms, their grandmas, all that, they know I'll call you right back as soon as I'm, I'm off my meeting. Your business will respect you as much as you respect it. You're going to start making an extra 300 an extra 500. Some of y'all, your income from this business is going to start to match your salary. And then for some of you guys, it's going to exceed your salary and you're going to pay off the debt and you may decide to be free and do this full time. So you have to start respecting this business for what you want it to be. And so stop acting like it is a little extra something, something when you want it to truly fill the gaps in your life. You don't want it to be extra income, right? Or maybe you do want it to be extra income. You want it to get to the point of being extra income <laughs> where it gives you extra income. But right now it's a gap filler. And so first thing I want you guys to do today, if you're brave, anybody brave, put me in the comments if you're brave. Put me in the comments if you're brave. If you brave, put me in the comments. Put me in the comments if you are brave. If you are brave today, I want you to write out every single bill. And I know I got a lot of personally enrolled in mentees on this call. I want you to write out all your bills. Write out every subscription. I want you to write this down. Take notes. I want you to cut off subscriptions that you do not use enough to justify paying for them. And then I want you to tell, I want you to add up your bills on the other side. So add up everything that runs, your bills, everything that runs. And then I want you to add up your income. So if you're married, you know, include your spousal income, take out your tithes. Typically with salaries, it is a normal, it's a set amount of money that you're getting paid. So you know how much goes towards your tithe. How much money are you in deficit? And I want you to text that number to your enroller. So in all honesty, we can just be real about what it is that you need. And then I want you to give them permission to truly push you and hold you accountable. How many people accountability hurts? Drop a one in the comments if accountability hurts for you. And sometimes it's hard to hear about yourself. Feelings, feelings. Our feelings don't get a vote. I don't know who needs to hear this today because I know some of y'all knew. Your feelings don't get a vote. Your feelings no longer get to dictate what you do and what you decide on. Your feelings do not get a vote. Write that down. My feelings do not get a vote. My feelings do not get a vote. They don't, they no longer get a vote. And yes, those of you guys who are new, I'm about to feed my kid on our call. My feelings do not get a vote. They don't. They no longer get a vote. And if you can put yourself in a position to where you can take your feelings out of the follow-up, the feelings out of the conversations with your enrollers, your feelings out of talking to potential customers and distributors, your business will blow up. It will blow up. There's actually somebody I'm staring at her right now. Uh, I often have conversations with her about her feelings. About how like you, you're in your feelings right now. Like that doesn't even matter. How many of y'all feel some type of way when somebody tells you no? Y'all that stuff don't even matter. 
And if you got to sit with me over and over again until you understand that or sit with Brittany or sit with Robin or sit with Keisha or sit with like if you need to come, that's the whole point of spaces like where we work together. So you can say she told me no, I'd be like, boo, 10 people told me no today. One blocked me. Look, I, we was on a three way just yesterday and somebody who was on a three way for extra income had watched the video and everything. She told us she didn't need extra income. She don't need no extra money. Like on the three way, we was like, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, okay. You wanna host the post? It was awkward. It happens all the time, y'all. But that doesn't stop us from reaching our goals because what's your goals? This month, what is your goals? What do you wanna make? Yeah, I want to see like a $4,000 increase on my check. What's your, what is your goal for the month? What do you want in the comments? You want to make a $500 this month from your business? Do you want to make $1,000 extra this month in your business? What is it that you want? In every t and and if, if you guys don't have this written somewhere so you can see it, you need to write it out and put it, I mean, write it on your mirror, get you a, a lipstick, get you a dry erase marker. And my husband just bought some, I mean, I did. Santa bought him some dry erase markers for Christmas. So I'm going to go use those and write my new goals on my mirror. You should know every month, y'all, I write out my goals and I put them right here on my computer so I can see them. So every month I can see, every day I come and look, okay, I want 10 DTs this month. All right, I signed one. I put a little tally mark. All right, I got 90 T's to go. Okay, I want to help Ashley go Ruby. Here's Ashley's Ruby chart right here in front of me. All right, we need this much volume in, in order to help Ashley go Ruby. If you're new and you don't know and you're just putting monetary, like just putting money to it, say you want to make $500 and you text your enroller and say, I want to make $500. What's the easiest way to make $500 in, in, in this business? And they will tell you step by step. Do y'all know what's the easiest way to make $500 in this business right now? Somebody tell me in the comments. Four customers, one distributor. Help that one distributor get four customers and one distributor. That is $500 paid out the following Friday. The following Friday. How many of y'all have gotten a tier one, tier two, or loyal customer bonus? Drop me in the comments. How does it feel? How does it feel? How does it feel when you get that notification that money is coming into your account weekly? How many of you guys have sold samples and made cash from samples? How does it feel when Cash App go jing jing? <laughs> it's exciting. It doesn't matter if it's even $15. It's $15 that you didn't have. $15 worth of gas is, is a blessing. Okay, especially when you all eat. So when I tell you don't limit what this business can do, don't limit it. But on the flip side, you got to get free. Because a lot of the extra income that people are complaining about not having in order to run their business, oh, it's, it's, it's subscriptions. Oh, it, it's the thing you, you forgot to turn off after your free days. Oh, it, it's, it's the stuff you ordered off of Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in somebody's business. I'm in your business. Is that what Pastor Pat say? Yeah. And so today we're getting free. At the beginning of this month, we're going to get free because you can't be an effective business owner with all of this lingering on top of your head. Eventually, you'll find yourself drowning. And so today, take the time to do it. We're at the top of the year. We're at the top of the year, y'all. Take the time and do it. I did, I had to put my phone on do not disturb to do this, but Brianna and I, not only do we know the date that automate, automate, because we love automatic payments. We actually love them. We're not like other people, like we appreciate automatic payments. 
because it makes our life so much simpler. But we know the date that it runs and the amount that it's going to be. And so today you're going to take, who's going to text their enroller? Who's going to do it? Who's going to be brave and text them the deficit? Y'all going to, who's going to do the task? And then before we hop off here, can we just talk about freeing ourselves from people? One of the, I'm going to give, so my advice for this, and this is just straight up advice, y'all. My advice for this um, is 100%. If you really dive into your business, you will be too busy to spend time with people who no longer add value to your life. And I, I am so serious because a lot of times it's like, you know, I always tell people this business showed me who my true friends were. It does. Business will show you who your true friends are. It shows you who, who has your back and who doesn't. And, and I know some people like, well, if they don't buy something or become a business partner, that means they don't have my back. No, that's not what that means. That's not what that means. But they can share a post. Yeah, they can encourage you with their words. They can share your coupons. Like a, a true friend, y'all got a friend who writes books and I'll be buying books that I don't even read, okay? Just because she's my friend and I support her and I, I believe in what she's doing. Um, actually, she her books are really good. <laughs> I, I actually really enjoy them, but I have to have the time to read them. But you, you, you're gonna support somebody. As much as I can't stand basketball season, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, I support Mr. Wiggum. My husband is a basketball coach, and I may give him some grief, but I'm gonna watch the game, and I'm gonna tell him, you know, <laughs> how the game was. Like I, I'm going to support him because I love him. And so when you become busy, when you start to really plug into the business, you won't have time for certain stuff. You'll be like, oh, I got a business meeting. Oh, no, I, I got a, um, a call at that time. You'll really be busy to where you will not be occupying yourself with people that no longer serve value in your life. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. And you will feel freer. I think once you get past the place of, what you feel like you've lost, you'll understand how much more you gained. You'll have your peace back. You'll have your money back, okay? Because a person like me was going to going out, <clears throat> was going out a lot, okay? And I needed new outfits because for some reason, you, you know, couldn't repeat outfits. I don't even know what that is. But I'm out here spending money that I didn't even have. Y'all know, so I saw some of y'all faces smile. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about because you was one. You was out here buying a new outfit. Girl, I need a new shirt. No, you don't. Girl, turn the black shirt around and, and scrunch it up on the side. Maybe it look new today. <laughs> be resourceful. <laughs> so the freedom of the fr friends. And we can be your friends until God places new people in your life because you'll begin to attract people that were called just to you. People you actually like. That's the freedom of being here. We get to choose who we work with. You don't have to just work with people that you don't desire. Now, God will put place some people in your life to grow you. I will tell you that much. You can't avoid that. He will place people in your life to grow you. But at the end of the day, you're going to be able to attract and find the real you. How about that? Drop in the comments if you have started to discover who you really are because of this space. That's me. That is me, y'all, 100%. I didn't even really know who I was. I was just going with the flow of who I, you know, what was normal, what was cool. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really know. You know, I, my favorite color was red because I was a Delta. It really is my favorite color though. I really do love red. Even though, you know. So. Yes, 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 yes. So text your enroller. If you're not doing a long time, you're going to start. You're going to go back and watch week one of the switch up and we're going to get free. It's very simple. It's, you're going to get free. You're going to get free from stuff. Some of y'all need to schedule pickups. Y'all know you can schedule a pickup for free. Call your water company, your trash company. You can schedule them for free. Schedule them. Get that stuff out your house. Get rid of those, those clothes that you don't wear no more. Clothes that you ain't fitting clothes that ain't serving you your kids clothes give them away go drop them off get all yes goodwill wherever 
drop all that stuff off. You can drop them off at the shelter. Get it out your house. Like get it out your house and you will feel freer and lighter. Subscriptions, you're going to let them go. The ones that you're not using, the ones that aren't serving you any purpose no more, you're going to let them go. People, okay? People and habits. We're going to let go of these habits by adding good habits into our life. Did you have something you wanted to share, Ms. Kizzy? Yes, uh, Rachel. Um, I wanted to just tell somebody that what she's saying is real. Let me tell you how I know, uh, even before uh, joining the business. Um, my husband and I, we've always had like careers, like either been police officers or he works for the post office now and I'm a teacher. But um, we were always stretching. We were like, why are we, we got all this money, but we're always stretching. And uh, what we found is that we had so many small things that added up. And so we were getting ready to buy a house. And I told my husband, I was like, we're not going to spend any money for like three months and see how much we can save. And our, our initial goal was to save $25,000. And when I tell y'all, like in like three months, we had, we had saved like 15,000. And then, I mean, I was like, I like this saving stuff. So we just kept on saving. Um, and it's the small things like Netflix. We, girl, we, get, we went down to the one, you know, we stopped letting people buy our Netflix and went down, dropped down to the one little $7 a month or whatever. And like, we literally like, stop the small stuff and we saw so much more in our income and so what Rachel's telling y'all is not that to make you feel like that but get uncomfortable just a little bit just for a little while and you'll see uh the manifestations that you're trying to see that's all I wanted to say thank you and that is real like that is so real I'm telling y'all like I'm a witness here and I'm, these are things that I wish somebody would have told me y'all I, I wish somebody would have told me this in the beginning of my business and so I want you to be free so when the money starts to come in it can go to the places that you really want it to go I don't want you to get to auto shipment and be like uh your check was 250 last month and you can't even run your auto shipment I don't want that for you you're going to invest back into your business because that's what we get to do y'all twenty dollars runs all of our, like our entire subscription suites. Okay, suites. It runs three apps. It runs your website and e-suite. Like all five different things goes towards $20 and we don't have to do none of them. Who, if y'all only knew how much it takes to run a website, y'all have no idea how much website development, like first of all, to even run a website and how much money that costs. It costs a lot of money. And so the fact that it works does all of it for only $20 a month and provides us with these apps is next level. So even with your auto shipment, find something that you love. And if you a hustler like me, like yo, in the beginning, I couldn't afford the products. At least I, that's what I was telling myself. So what did I do? I sold them. I sold the products. I sold them all. Every time my auto shipment came in, I had somebody on deck to get that so I could continue to run my business. Why? Because I wanted to get out of where I was. I joined the business for money. I wanted to make money. How dare, how dare I not be able to run an auto shipment because I, I need money when I want to make money. <laughs> I need to find the money to run the business so that I can run an effective business and make money so I can make money. So hope you guys are having a great Saturday. I'm looking forward to a million and one text messages. It is what it is. And I'm looking forward to text messages from my leadership too, because y'all on here. So go ahead and do the task. I'm gonna pray it's down. We're gonna hop off here. And this week, we're gonna let it go and we're gonna get free, okay? We're gonna let it go and get free. And I promise you, if you clear up the space, you'll go through the new cheat sheet. You will. You'll have the time and the space. You won't feel so anxious. And if you're feeling anxious, go ahead and purchase you some confianza because it'll change your whole life, I'm telling you. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just love you, God. This week, we are letting it go. And so, God, I just even pray for those who are have feeling anxiety about it right now. We just rebuke and bind that in the name of Jesus. We ask for just complete peace in this process of going to the next level, God, the freedom that people will feel as they schedule pickups and get furniture out of their house that no longer serves them pur purpose, gets big items out of their house, gets rid of clothes and goes through closets and frees up themselves, stuff that they haven't worn in years and probably don't plan to ever wear again, God, giving away their, their toys, even their kids' toys that they don't even use or, or book 
books or whatever, God, all the things, God, going through subscriptions and calling and cutting things off and even just the realization of what was actually coming out of their account and looking at it and realizing where their money is going. God, we will be fruitful in this moment and in our fruitfulness, God, we will be good stewards. And so, God, we thank you for the good stewardship that this money squad has, God, how you're teaching the youngest from 18 years old up to 70 plus that are on this squad, how you are teaching us to be um, just um, good stewards, good stewards of this money that you're giving us so that it can grow, that it can grow. So God, we just thank you in advance. God, I just ask that you cover their hearts and minds as they go through the process and see us through to the expected end. So we thank you for the new customers, the new distributors, the, the new um, the newfound hope that people will have as they go through the process here in this space. So we just love you and we adore you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Peace out, y'all. Have a good day.